Welcome to today's daily devotion. Today our title is, Yes, He Did It. In the book of Matthew in chapter 26 and verse 42, and it says, My Father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away from unless I drink it, may your will be done. Jesus and Peter, James, and John is all in the garden. And, and Jesus asked, asked the guy, says, listen, I want y'all to stay here and pray a little bit. And I'm going to go over here. And he came back and he found him and he found him asleep. And he says, you know, you need to stay awake for an hour and pray with him. He went off and come back and he found him. And he came back. He says, you know, my father, if it is not possible for this cup to pass me by, what was in that cup? What was in that cup? And he was looking in that cup. What did he see? Let me tell you, he saw you. He saw me. He saw your neighbor. He saw every humankind. He saw the days before and the days after. He knew everything about mine and your life. He knows everything about mine and your life. And all this agony and pain was on him so bad. All of the, all of my miss fits in life, you know, was in his heart, in his eyesight when he looked in that cup. All the aggravations of my life was in that cup and he saw, he saw me for who I was and for what I have done, for who I am. But he also saw me for my future. He also saw me and he still sees me today for what I can become and all that I am going to become just like he does you. He sees you for who you can become. Yes, he did it. He took the pain, he took the punishment, he took the agony, he took the suffering, he took death for you, he took death for me. Yes, he did it, because he loves us, because he loves you that much. And he says, Father, you know what, if I gotta do it, then let's do it, I gotta do it. If I gotta go through this pain and suffering, let's do it, Daddy, let's go through it. And he did it, yes, he did it, he did it just for you. Now, what will you do for him? Will you ask Him to forgive you of those sins? Will you ask Him to come into your heart and be with you, let you dwell with Him and Him dwell with you? Will you come and have supper with Him at the table? Because he, that's exactly what He wants to do. He wants to dwell in your heart forever and ever. Yes, He did it. God bless you. Hope this is a word to encourage you. We'll see you.